Hey everybody. It's not a fine and wonderful day here in the QC, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm so glad to see it as always. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. Able to get out and enjoy this beautiful day that the Most High has given us. And rejoicing with me and being glad. Me and the wife are at it again, getting our walk in. Enjoying this sunshine, getting that vitamin D, and getting the juices flowing. Doing our exercise. Okay, I did have a great thought that the Most High shared with me. I'm going to pass it on to you, and it is to whoever will, but that thought is, pay your vows. I notice I didn't say pay your tithes and offerings, I say pay your vows to the Most High. Now in that paying your vows, that may include your tithes and offerings if you made that vow to the Most High. But what I'm really saying goes a little bit deeper than that. Just a little bit. Basically, what the elders call, do what you say you're gonna do. Or do what you said you did. Just like back in the days, Mama would ask us if we cleaned our room, and she would say, "We would say, yeah, Mama, we already cleaned it." And she would go back and check on what we said, seeing if we was honoring our word by doing what we said we would do and what we said we did. And this is so very important because more or less for ourselves, because it's important to ourselves to feel that we are trustworthy. Because with the Most High, He wants you to do what's right and what you say you're gonna do. But at the same time, he'll get somebody else very quick. We see that in the life of Saul. When Saul took the oath to become the king, he knew, he knew that he was just a representative of the Most High, that the Most High was still king. But he supposedly let the people influence him. And that's a lot of our cases. We let other people influence our vows to the most high because we're concerned about what they, they're gonna say. Or even sometimes what they can do to us. But I heard good teaching from my moray over the weekend. And he said, you're not gonna be taken out until you finish your job. Basically saying, you're gonna complete your mission on earth and the most high will seek to protect you. So lift your head up and do what you say you're going to do. That's going to be my time.
step, keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.